Hi guys, so this is going to be another part of my Hunter Hayes collection. So, I got to see him in concert after I haven't seen him in a long time. The last time I saw him was November 21st, 2014. And I finally got to see my baby again. So here's like one of the receipts I got. So my sister bought me the Hunter Hayes VIP. It was at the University of Wisconsin. So she paid for it, but I paid her back for it. She got... The VIP does not come with tickets for the show, so we bought this theater by them separately. So I went with my sister and my mom. So here's the tickets. May 1st, 2016. Sorry if I'm shaky. There's our tickets. My baby. Okay, so that's them. <coughs> Before I tell you what happened in the meet and greet, I will show you what I got in the meet and greet. There's like hair all over there. Instead of like hair on this bag that I got, it's just that my dog sheds like crazy. So, yeah. Um, it came with this bag. See, like the white fur? That's my dog's fur. Yeah, so I got this bag. Um, I gotta grab the poster because I have to put it behind me. This poster. Which I know it kind of looks wrinkled because it was raining and I had to bring this with me. And uh, my mom put this behind her in her wheelchair and then got like all ruined, but at least the picture's okay. And then, oh, I gotta grab that. And this lanyard, which is so cute. I love it so much. Okay, so, <clears throat> before I show you the meet and greet picture and all that stuff, I'm going to tell you what happened. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm, like, coughing all of a sudden. I'm going to tell you some of the stuff that happened in the meet and greet lounge, the VIP lounge thing. Not all of it, because some of it is personal to me. And I don't want to mention any of it. It's just between me and Hunter and all that, so, okay, when he, when we got there, we were the first people there waiting for the meet and greet and all that, and we were there for, I don't know how long we were there waiting, because I don't, I cannot tell time and stuff, I don't know how to do that kind of stuff, I'm not good at it, don't make fun of me, please, it's just, I have a lot of, yeah, it's just, don't, okay, yeah, so let's get on with that. And then, as soon as everyone was there, and it was time for us to go into the VIP lounge, she called us up and said our names, and we got into the room for the VIP lounge. Um, and we were in there, waiting, got in our seats. I have no idea how long we were waiting in there, because Hunter was doing, uh, I don't know if he was doing, like, a sound check. And, uh, but it took forever, because I think they were having a lot of problems with, like, um, their equipment. And we were in there forever, and they were playing, like, pool and we and all that stuff and the pool let me tell you when I was sitting next to that pool table it was so loud I just wanted to scream because I had like my ears are so sensitive to sound oh my gosh let me tell you but when it comes to music it's different that's like the only thing I can handle for sound but when it comes to like other noises I cannot stand it okay so let's just get back to what I was talking about so then we were in there forever and then the lady kept like the, lady, the main lady she kept talking on like the walkie talkie and the phone and then all of a sudden, I see, like, this guy coming, and then I look behind him, and I see, like, this little guy, and he's so cute. I'm like, I think I see him. I swear I saw him. And I could tell. I just knew f for a fact that it was Hunter Hayes. I'm like, that's him. I saw him. And the girls next to me are, like, saying, looking at me and stuff, and I'm like, and then he comes in. I'm like, I knew it. And they're like, oh, you knew it was him. And I'm like, I knew it. Um, then he came in, and then he was supposed to go to our table first, but then there's these people sitting at the, um, in these chairs back in the front, so he went to them first, but then they said they were at the other table, so then he went to their table first, which is actually better for me, so he went to their table first, and talking to them, and, and all that stuff, and they took their pictures, after they were talking, and then he came to our table after all that, after they left, which is better for me, because I am, like, one of the people that cannot take a picture in front of a bunch of people, I hate taking my picture in front of millions of people, I can't stand it, um, because I don't like people seeing me smile and stuff, it's just something I've always hated since I was a kid, <coughs> so then he went to our table, and he started walking around the table giving everybody a hug, and he got to me, and he, and he only said it to me, besides the one girl next to me, he said he liked her jacket, but it was actually his jacket, like, his, like, with his logo on it and stuff, but, 
And it came to me and he said to me, I love your dress. Oh my gosh, he said he loved my dress and I practically fell out of my chair. And then he gave me a hug and then I almost fell out of my chair again and I almost like died. Um, then he sat down across from me and he literally kept making eye contact with me like like mostly the whole time. And his eyes are just so gorgeous. I know I've met him before, but he, before it wasn't the same because he used to not sit at the table with you. He would just like talk, ask questions. But now because of change, and I haven't been to a lot of the VIP thing for a while. Um, so then he was at the table and it was just so perfect. And this is not for any bragging or anything like that. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. I was just so excited to finally get to see my baby again. And um, he was uh, looking in my eyes, <laughs> blue eyes, looking at me and then... He was talking about a bunch of stuff, and he was asking, like, how many concerts we've been to. And my, I literally, I think my brain, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it, like, zoned out because I totally forgot. And um, he asked something about, like, because Carly Pierce was there at the concert, and he said something about it, and I said, yeah. I said, I opened, I said something, and then because I, I told him, because my sister is friends with Carly Pierce, so I told him that. And he said, oh, really, how? And I, cause I said, because she met her in California with Lucy Hale because my sister's friends with Lucy Hale and Carly Pierce, and um, they both follow her on Twitter. And Carly Pierce is supposed to beat my sister. I said she's supposed to meet my sister today at the show. Um, and my sister didn't... She ended up not being able to meet her at the show because we couldn't wait anymore. She would have met her, but it was, like, raining really bad, and she could have met her, but we couldn't wait anymore. But she did see... At the concert, she did see my sister in the audience, and she waved to her a bunch of times. <clears throat> my sister did bring her a necklace to the concert and she gave it to this lady and said can you give it to Carly for me just say it's from Natalie and she'll know who it's from so <clears throat> Carly did write my sister on Twitter the day after and said I'm so happy I got to see your beautiful face and I got the necklace thank you so much so that's how we know that Carly Pierce did see my sister and we know that she was waving at my sister and we know that she got the necklace so that's good and um Let's get back to the meet and greet. Um, and then Hunter asked if we had anything for him to sign. I was the first person to give him something to sign, which was this picture right here. And he was looking at the photo like he knew it, because he does know this photo. This is in his room or something at his house. Or his dad made like a collage out of this photo, or like these photos. And he's like, where'd you get this photo? I'm like, my friend Larry gave it to me. And he's like... And I said, he, yeah, cause he's, and he's friends with your family. The guy named Larry that gave this to uh, me is friends with Hunter. He's his family. And he's like, what's his last name? And I'm like, I don't know, because I don't know his last name. And he's like, well, I know who you're talking about. So Hunter knows who I was talking about. So that's really cool that he knew who he was talking about, I was talking about. Yeah, because he did give this to me, and he knows Hunter's family, so that's really cool. He did do something else for me, but I'm not going to show you guys because it's really personal. And you'll see it in a future video. He did write something down for me and, or do something for me, and I'm not going to show it to you guys because I don't want to, and uh, that's something I'm not going to show you, and yeah, so he does know who, who, who gave me this photo, and he signed it for me. He's so beautiful. And then the meet and greet photos, the meet and greet photo, he's so beautiful. I hope I made sense, because I'm like, this is like my... 6th, 7th, 8th time making this video. So this is my meet and greet photo with Hunter. I finally asked him if I can have the hugging picture. I've always wanted I finally woke up and said, can I please have the hugging photo I've always wanted. And you know what? I finally actually told him something else that is personal. That's why I'm not telling you about it. This is, this is when I told him when I was asking about the pictures. Before I got the picture with him, I asked him something personal. So I'm not going to tell you. So that's the meet and greet photo. And then the lady... um that was in there, asked me, because she saw my tattoo already, and she asked me if I showed it to him yet, and I said, no, not yet. Uh, so he saw my tattoo finally, and he saw, he loved it so much. So the second, he actually, they asked me to make take two photos, so this is the second photo they had me take. With my tattoo. And his hands on me, and I just, I mean, I can't get over that, and then my hands around right his, his waist. I can't get over these photos. It's like, I, can't, I just want to relive that day over and over again. Literally, I, I can go back to that day 
I would live it over and over again. Yes, yeah, so he loved the tattoo. And what I told him, it's the personal thing I told him, he was just so happy. And just He asked me for, like, I think I got three or four hugs and nobody else did. Because he was just so happy. So that was my new Hunter Hate stuff that I got. And this was, like, the best day of my entire life. And hope you liked the video. Sorry that it's so long. Sorry that I was talking so much. And this is not for any bragging. And I can't wait to show you this other thing that I didn't tell you guys. And whenever I do it, you guys will see it.